Hey guys, Scott Merwin here with uh, Ice Team Pro and I'm with Kristen Merwin and we're going to talk about modifying plastic, something that can catch you a lot of fish out on the ice. So we're just kind of going to bounce back and forth and talk. We both fish different, we're going to do different things and we're just going to show you how we change our baits to make the fish bite. Well, what I think one of the first things that I always think about when I'm going to choose, you know, the plastic and I'm going to choose the, the jig is what what's down there you know what what are the fish biting on and one of the ways that i always find out to do that is to try to catch a few uh, whether you're using live bait or a plastic and inevitably when they come up the ice they show us what what, what was for lunch or dinner so assuming that i've done that and i see you know that it was bugs for example i'm probably going to really downsize my presentation um one of the ways to do that um, is with these plastics is you can take them and then maybe that's a little bit longer of a profile than I want to make so I can just pinch that off this is the Mackie minnow and then just go with a really small you know presentation like that with a jig if, if they're eating bugs um, you can wacky rig that you can thread it on um, there's a lot of different options in, in how you hook it. But that's that's one thing that I would do for a bug. What do you do if you're that, trying that to... That right, what you're doing right there reminds me of a fishing situation I was in one time. And um, the fish weren't taking the whole bait in the jig. They were just pulling the back half and it was ripping up that front part of the plastic. And um, I think I only had like two or three in the bag. So I just started using that tail end to find out that the fish were hitting it a little bit better and getting that hook in their mouth. So that was a really good example with the Mackie minnow there. You know, um, it's it's different. It depends on if I'm fishing in the basin or, or weed fishing, you know, on what size and, and how big I'm going to go. And if I want it to swim or do I want it to flutter? Do I want it to wiggle? I mean, you're just going to pick the plastic that fits that the best. Are you going to want more tentacles hanging off of it? You know, like the Jamie here, you know, this, this bait can be used so many different ways. Let me show you. Um, here I'm gonna leave this on this one here we got a silky which is a good add to any bait but um, one of the ways you can hook this and uh, I learned this from Mr. Gens is you can hook it sideways so when it's sideways like that it kind of looks like a little fish swim in there you know kind of like a little bluegill or a little crappie or maybe a smaller minnow you know, then if you want the bug presentation, you can just unhook it and hook it straight down the middle the other way. Just kind of thread it on there. When you thread them on there the best you can, the bait stays a lot better and you get a lot more out of it. But see, all I did with that one was, there it's running away from me, is just change the angle. You know, so it was facing one way now it's facing the other that's two different presentations another thing you can do with this jamie that's really cool is um you can pinch off the back the front half just like we did on the mackie minnow to where you just have a few little side tentacles hanging off the side and then the two in the back which makes for like especially if you're missing a lot of bites you're going to want to make that plastic a little bit smaller so they're biting the hook instead of the plastic but if you see how i just made that from a larger type plastic to a smaller one that can that can change your fishing day right there yeah and i think you made a really good point as you know where are you fishing you know so we we fish a lot of transitions and muddy bottoms when you're fishing those muddy bottoms typically the the big forage and there are the blood worms so like here's a a mackie bloody and i'll i'll hook that from a like a wacky rig and then you go try to this is perfect because it's blue maybe it's water but if you bounce that off the bottom you know and obviously in the water you know these tentacles are going to come up and that's going to look uh, just like you know a blood worm so i have found really good success in that as well see that is a good idea and one one of the things i like to do when i'm trying to imitate a blood worm is i like to to use this um vertical jig here called the half ant and i learned this I don't know about 10 years from another ice team pro and it's worked really good for me but you kind of just hook it through the ball of the poly and then you bring it back around and hook it right on that tail that sticks out and this is really cool way of imitating a bloody on the bottom 
Because if you see right here when I rock it on the bottom, yeah, that look looks that like tail. a... See how that tail is moving right there? That looks just like a blood worm. And those bluegills will come down there and they'll suck it right in. And, and I mean, that could be a big game changer when you're fishing finicky fish on those transitions too. And that's a half ant, right? Yes, ma'am. So that's that that provides a it's not tungsten is it it's a lead jig yes it is a lead jig and it falls a little bit slower falls a too. lot slower so if you're in a shorter water column with that and you've got that uh, poly on there that just provides a nice slow fall that they yeah. can't they can't uh shy away from here is the new bait this year called the whammy um i worked with Sc scott brower at mackie plastics in collaboration with Women Anglers of Minnesota, and we came up with this bait. And I love to fish this bait with the, I like to fish it horizontal, and I like this tail up like this. And I'll, I'll go down on the bottom and just rock it, you know? And I always, all of a sudden, you know, it's just a cool thing to watch, especially when you're with a spring bobber where it just, all of a sudden it's just, they pick it up off the bottom and they're swimming. So that is a way that I'll fish the whammy. The other thing that I'll do, um, Scott, like you were showing, is I'll fish it on a drop kick, but I'll put a side profile to it to kind of try to imitate that that uh, year of young. Yeah. Young of year, excuse me. Um, you know, so that is also, especially I'll fish that in the weeds a lot. That's a perfect example of turning that bait one way or another to to imitate two different things or you know what's nice about this bait too is you know it's got that that beautiful tail sometimes has a little bit big of a profile you know so this bait the beautiful thing is you can just take that head off too and get a much you know smaller profile which sometimes is needed for the gills you know too when you're picking out your plastics you want to you know um we have a, a lot of different jigs out there. We have the duck bill, the um, drop kick, the drop. They all put different action in that mm -hmm. plastic. So when you're picking a plastic, you're going to want the most aggressive jig the longer the tail because it's going to put a lot of wiggle through that jig. So I would use a full bloody or a full whammy or, or, or one of those things or even a full um, one of the big XL Mackie minnows because I'm gonna like with a duck bill I can get a lot of wave action through that tail that attracts those fish You know like the the drop kicks another one it, it gives it a kick at the end You know and so that does a little bit different than the duck bill and then you got the half ant That's a vertical jig and that's good. You can wacky rig that you can hook it like I did You could do but you want to pick those plastics to match those jigs to get the best movement out of them to attract fish um, so you could, I mean, the sky's the limit. You could go all kinds of different ways with this. You know, I mean, I got the the Mackie right here. This is, you know, one of the original plastics from Mackie in it. And basically, it's, it's got a big, thick, heavy body so you can get a good hook in there. And then it's got about six tentacles off the, to the, each side and right off the back. You know, you can you can hook this one sideways where it looks like a fish. You can hook it this way so when the fish look up, the tentacle things are um, kind of fluttering out to track those fish um, you can pull some tentacles off to make it smaller you can pinch the front end off there's all kinds of stuff you can do with this Mackie plastic yeah and I don't think I think one thing we get a linear mindset is that we only use one plastic we're only going to use the Mackie minnow and we're going to modify that well you can you can use many different pieces you know of the plastics like here here's one where we use the necky you know and the mackey and one thing that i have found if in fishing uh, panfish is my passion and one thing that i have found is they are curious <laughs> they when you, they see those movements the, they want to come in and see what that's like and what i found is the more things that i can have moving in the water more curious they become yeah, to come and you know take a look at it so when i put when i use two things like this now i've got all these different factors and and this drop kick is going to just give this such action that you're just going to get it, it's well that's just showing 
movement from all different directions, exactly. which is a good thing to have. Exactly. So don't limit yourself on, I can only use one type of bait. You know, the, maybe you use the silky and a mackie. Maybe you use the necky and some spikes because you need some scent down there. Don't limit yourself just to, I can only use live bait. I can only use one plastic. Try different combinations because I think what you're going to find is you're going to find your special recipe that works on the on the fish on your lake. Yeah, that's a good... Um that, that was a good thing about the live bait because sometimes you do have to put, you know, the plastic will attract the fish in and then the scent from the, the Euro library will make them bite. Yep. And on the silky, I know we had, yeah, here, that's the other beautiful thing about the silky is that holds that scent too. Yeah. You know, so whether you're using it with Mackey, it will absorb some of that Mackey juice or it will absorb, you know, the spikes. Um, it also know, keeps them from stealing your plastic yeah, that's as well. So, so very true. Very true. So try some of those tips when you're out there. Um, don't limit yourself and think linearly. Put them together. Try crazy different combos. I think you'll be really surprised about what the fish react to. Um, and hopefully that helps you put some more fish topside this winter. So when you're out there fishing together, fish as a team, everybody start out with something different so you can figure out what, what plastic and what jig combo is working the best at.